Um, hi everyone, um, my name is Claire and I am a farmer from Birchip in northwestern Victoria. Um, on my farm we grow wheat, barley, peas, canola, sheep and alpacas and we have two different types of sheep. Ones with wool called Dorpa, uh, ones with wool that are a mix of border lester, merino and white suffolk and ones with hair and they're a type of Dorpa damara. Um, this sheep here is one of my special sheep called Nigella. There are around 1,300 sheep on my farm at the moment, but some will have to go to market soon. Most of the sheep live up the paddock. We give them water, and since it hasn't rained, they also need to be given bales of hay. When it rains, there will be green feed growing in the paddocks for them to eat. Um, the Dompa Damaras have hair, so they do not need to be sheared. You can see some of them in this picture here, and in their back, the wool clumps, no, the hair clumps together and falls off. So that's pretty different to a normal sheep. The other ones need to be shorn at least once a year. In springtime, they have lambs. And you can see some of the little lambs here. They're very, the Dorpa Damaras are very little and they're all different colors. I have five very, very special lambs that came to me last year. Um, their names, uh, Nigella, which is this one here with the little black spot, Yotam, who's the little brown one, Hetty, Julia and Donna in the back there. When they were little, we had to feed them with a bottle because their mothers weren't there to give them milk. They've clearly grown up quite a lot since then. But now that they're older, they like to eat all sorts of things and potentially things they shouldn't. They're very spoiled and they get grain, hay, salt bush, olive leaves and apricot tree leaves. Sometimes they get into my mum's garden and eat things they shouldn't, like roses. <laughs> um, last year we had to shear them because they were getting too many burrs in them. This is my dad shearing the sheep. As you can see, they look a little bit silly after they've been shorn. They almost look, <laughs> they just don't look quite right. <laughs> They look a little a bit too skinny and a bit funny. Um, I'm now going to show you a video of my lambs being fed so you can see what it is that they and what their home looks like. So this is their home here. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it or not. Oh, there we go. See, this is my lambs down here and I'm going to go and get them some apricot leaves because then they'll want to pat and come up for pats. And now they're petty. They come up and they get very excited about apricot leaves. And in the back, you can see the trailer, and that keeps all of their grain. And these plants are called salt bushes. This little lamb down here, her name is Donna, and she was a little bit sick when she was born, and she hasn't grown quite as big as the others, but she's getting better now. Hi, Hedy. So this is Hetty. Yeah, this lamb is Hetty. This is Julia. Donna. That's Donna. She's a little bit little. This is your Tam. <laughs> this is your Tam. Hi, your Tam. Say hello. And this is this is Hetty. Hetty again. Hello. <laughs> this one here is called Nigella. Say hello, Nigella. Nigella. Oh no, hello, your Tim. <laughs> Nigella. That's 
probably enough of those. I don't know if you have time to see some of the other ones or if that's the end. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's all from me. We have, um, I guess the best thing I like about being a farmer is I get to spend all of my time outdoors looking after animals. They're so beautiful and it's always such a big open sky up on the farm. And I get to spend all my time out there and appreciate every day for what it is. Um, thank you everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>